a little bit higher. Hello everyone, this is GreatShot117 here, bringing you another Company of Heroes 2 replay. This time, it is one with myself, GreatShot117, with Tank Killer, Saint T, and Fried Chicken. These two are randoms. And by the way, I'm not the only one here. Hi. Yes, 151 is here for a brief replay. This is a, uh, for a, um, I guess just going over this game, a 4v4 in General Mud. Uh, I one... stopped by, I annoyed him, I figured, hey, I've no I haven't really been in commentary in a while, if ever, so you know, might as well join, join now. He won't leave until I do this, so that's why. E exactly, I can just feel the love. But in any case, we are starting off the game. It is for a full Soviet uh, assault versing the full OKW. And in which case, it's what, you and Tank Killer versing just four randoms? Uh, yeah, we are versing four randoms. Uh, but they're all OKW, as you just said. They are Cheap Rusty Blade. They are Tarkin. They are... XOP and 314. And I kind of feel bad for some of these people because, uh, well, let's just get started. So immediately, um, my idea is to go, of course, normal Soviet faction, which is going with the support weapon company because I need to grab this fuel. And this specific fuel is great for MGs because if you have, let's say, you hide it behind this tractor, you can have a nice wide arc of fire. You don't need to have as big as the MG42 to hold down the small sector. Well, be mainly because obviously they're in one point, so they have to charge from one side. Or and if you can hold that church right there, you can make sure they only focus on that one point. That's an excellent point. And it's funny enough because three of our guys focused on the right. And three of their guys kind of tried to focus on left before one of them went mid. Well, Same thing with our guy. Well, fun fact. Uh, it's natural human tendency to follow there your right no arm or, like, go to right. Uh, just because you usually go the way that, you, have, you know, your dominant appendage. So if you're left-handed, you're more likely in a strategy game to go left. Anyway, so Tank Killer is going to hold mid. I'm going to try to push for right. And then my ally over here, which is uh, Saint, SP, like I'm just calling it Saint, uh, is going to uh, move up with conscripts try to fight. Now, this is a great place to find heavy cover, and these guys aren't in any cover, so he's going to start doing a lot of damage. I, I'd probably recommend him bringing up more conscripts, but overall, he's uh, so far winning this engagement. Well, most definitely, not to mention the fact that, you know, his uh, Sturm Pioneers, the enemies at least, are, you know, close-range support, so him keeping them far away is probably not the best. He should have used that opportunity when the conscripts are going around that farmhouse getting close, used some close-range damage, but it appears that he's just getting wore war down. Again, he's holding that point, so, I mean, and if he gets his truck down and gets some reinforcements, he could probably hold that a little bit longer, but he needs that reinforcements up there ASAP. Yeah, and as you see here, he moved his truck back knowing that we were going to push up. But yeah, we have his truck here, I think, believe we can kind of See it now. So this will at least give us an idea of where they, uh, where the truck's gonna be. Um, at least on the map. Ooh, the pure enemy is coming to support, and he has Stern Pioneer. Uh, well, double Stern Pioneer. Wow, three units in one. I mean, yeah, this can be good and bad, but the problem is there isn't as many. Uh, they're all dying. Let's get to all keep firing here, and as you can see there, that's the one window with multiple holes, so it's gonna kill any guy that pops in there. So that's why they kept dying. <laughs> um, he's gonna move back. I'm over here, I'm blocking this area off, and I have my MG right here. I have additional forces moving up as well, try to support. It's somewhere around here. Damn, I'm, I'm sure, uh oh. And here we have the double team of who are those guys in again? Storm Pioneers and Bolt. No, no, I mean the player. Uh, 314, and also we have XOP. Oh, so we have Zop and 3, okay. So Zop and 3 decide to do double charge, pretty much overwhelming the uh, Yellow's forces. Uh, that's okay. No, this is the other, this is Saint. Ah, okay. Well, ba well yeah, I, Saint does a smart thing getting his units out of there because he's just getting overwhelmed. It is not good. I brought up an AT because I thought it would be a great idea to have an AT uh, to try to A, hold back the blob, and B, take out Kubel. Well, yeah, I mean, especially with this OKW, I'm surprised they've not deployed a lot of Kubel uh, baggage yet. I am also placing mines, so in case they try to flank around here, I will have a demo charge ready to go <laughs> that way in case they try to do a flank on my mg kaboom goes their forces i'm also gonna put mines in these specific areas you are just a royal pain when it comes to those demolition charges as of late i try yeah but i mean you are taking back that point so you are i mean your fuel got dis disconnected there first oh no it's not connected oh wait, yeah it was yep. disconnected yep um tk's doing a good job holding this point pushing them back he doesn't have this point but again he's trying to help out the ally who is uh, getting crushed? Yeah, uh, fried chicken is having a yeah. That's his name. Fried is he chicken. getting burnt? He, he, yeah. He, is he running scared with his head cut off? Stop, please. Wow. Okay, so they cut off this area. So flank here, unless with a, ve uh, uh, a heavier vehicle, is going to be useless. Um, 
maybe still be explosives, but uh, but you can see that they pretty much have the superior numbers on the So I mean that's Soviet's best thing. They do have the the numbers and the guns. And right now, even with that Kubel value, I would not want to stay there. Even yeah, he's just getting overwhelmed. I, Twenty bucks is that both guys. Good. Oh, oh abandoned. abandoned. Dad. Wow, that German officer like I I I I lost it. I lost it. It was mine. Please steal the Kubel. Oh, of that boss. Oh, oh, no, get no. out of there. Get, no! Oh, straight engine. Drive. Drive. Oh, my God. Is that tank? That's tank killer, right? Uh, no, this is fried chicken. What you don't know is that guy, <laughs> that guy's like, move it, move it, move it, Roscovitz. Oh, wait, is that Russian? No, that's, I'm thinking of BJ. Oh, wow, that is just that epic. Russian that's great. <laughs> For the motherland, we take this vehicle. It's only moving one mile per hour. We take this vehicle. That's pretty funny. So anyway, they're going to push up, take this point, and that will help them get one step closer to the fuel. Again, in this situation, not even close to the fuel yet. No, but you're, that's still a good headway, and you did take the star, which will force them to re uh, relocate their troops. And you got another Kubel back in? Looks wow. like two Kubels. Wow. The Germans are just being very, very dumb. Oh, wow. They took your AT. Yeah, I uh, moved my AT back. They surrounded it, killed it. They never pushed over here, but we were able to get it back. Well, it looks like you're doing a pretty good charge. It does not appear they have any major obstacles in your way, infantry-wise. And it doesn't seem like they, uh... Yeah, they went with the medic trucks. So that they're not going to have that any anti-infantry vehicles to use. They do have a nice blob here with the Sturm officer. Let's look at doctrines. We have not one, but two breakthrough doctrines, which means there's a chance for Yag Tigers, our assault artillery, the Sturm officer, which helps support enemy, um, enemy, allied infantry. So let's say this blob here. It helps support the blob in the means of giving it better, um... Yeah, fight harder. But it's also the risk that if they focus on just that officer and they kill the officer, well, they're going to run for the hills. Yeah, if they kill this guy, they'll all run away. So that's what normal people did do. It, keep this thing in the back. You keep in the front. People concentrate, try to kill it, and neutralize that target. Um, anyway, so th that's what those two went. Cheap Rusty wow. Blade also went Yag Tiger. And we have Fortifications Doctrine. So I'm guessing they're trying to compensate with something with their focus on big guns. Yes. Exactly. Okay. okay. Um, I'm just making sure here. Wow. Well, that's on fire. Looks like the conscript tried to push over here fail. I mean, it's German. I mean, that's what they love. It's, it has to be either on fire or, you know, molten, you know. In the meantime, we're slowly pushing up. Um, as you can see here, we're slowly taking points. There's no, there's really no enemy infantry that we really have to worry about. Look at my units. I have an MG guard You say this. Here. There's no enemy infantry to worry about as the blob approaches the unit, which was right over there. It's like, we have nothing to fear except, oh my god. Yeah. Oh wow, he shot at them before. No, oh, he's fine. That, those guys are perfectly, they're gonna, oh, that uh, sucks. You know what the sad thing is? Tomorrow, or that, that the day after, he was going home. So I also mentioned I was bringing up the AT to kill that medic HQ, and I realized it's too late. <laughs> yeah, just a bit, just a bit. But now, currently, they have the number superiority. On the bright side, though, you've taken a lot of territory from them, so you're getting a lot of bonuses. But on the flip side, we have Tank Killer. Wow, putting up some great fence. That's not Tank Killer, it's ch Chicken. Oh. Uh, tank Killer's here, he's trying to hold me. Oh. He also, you think I'm evil? Tank Killer put demo charges next to the building, <laughs> hoping that they would jump in the building and he would blow it up. That's genius. It's evil and it's awesome. Tank Killer, if you're watching this, I approve. <laughs> but no, he's uh, Tank Killer is holding down the center. He's retaking the center. It looks like that's charging on your side. Wow, yeah. you're just using everything, bro. Yeah, I are you? Yeah, but yeah. here, the great thing is the, uh, the conscripts have PTRS rifles, and I'll show you why. So I haven't picked anything yet. Tank Killer with the Advanced Warfare, uh, he's uh, le letting us know through radio what they're calling out. Conscripts for close range weapons, which you can see here. He has a lot of conscripts, he can give them PTSHs for a better short range fire. Makes them really effective, almost uh, close like shock troops, but shock troops have better armor. Uh, makes conscripts ability to heal tanks. He also gets T-3045s and also a Sturmovic attack strike. So Meaning, let's things. say the enemy's here and he sees that, he can call on a Sturmovic strike to clear it. Or he calls on a Sturmovic. Don't those suppress and like... Yep. So can he just... So what? He, basically, here's a good plan. Have them all suppressed, then get your tank in one of them. Yeah. What pure Russian ingenuity there, my friend. But on the left-hand side, uh, they are... It's a bitter battle for the star. And we have in the center right here, we have a whole bunch of... Wow, they even took your AT gun. Wow, you are just giving them everything, aren't you? Yeah, I'm actually curious. Let's see their stars. So basically, we have a, ho a lot of high-ranking players on that team. Yeah, well, you know. We don't exactly have the highest-ranking players either. And then us are a little bit higher up, but still. 
Not too wow, shabby. you're almost to level 100. Yeah, so does that mean you almost have no life? See, aren't you guys glad I'm here? Oh boy, shut up. Anyway, so I went Armored Assault Doctrine to get the IS-2, Stormbreak Strikes, which this is actually longer lasting. Um, T-34, 85, see if I need to, radio, and then also passive to be able to repair. Did you intentionally almost pick like the same doctrine as TK? I'm feeling a little bit of jealousy issues here. Shut up. Same with Tank Hunters, that's why he has the PTRS package with the um, conscripts. He also has these AT grenades. Wow, he, he, these two are floating a ton of manpower. Wow, 1600. What is he saving me for? I mean, KB maybe? Oh, you know what? I know what he's doing. He, he goes Soviet industry. Because he's saving all that manpower. Because Soviet industry reduces your manpower drastically. So he's getting all that so that way he can mass produce tanks. Genius. Actually, that's not bad. Just have a minor front line. But anyway, this on the downside though, it's not helping you too much. So they can't. Uh, but Saint can also decommission uh, enemy vehicles into stuff like the OPW can, and also they get this eight, um, anti-tank bombing run, which also is very effective against infantry. Oh yeah. But it does a ton against tanks as well. Good all around. And the, the AT package is amazing. Those are good. Really good. Good overall blob moving up. TK is trying to load them in. Also, I mean, those things can be in close range. And if you stretch them with heavy cover, have the enemy, you know, the enemy charge you. Oh my god, it's like freaking. It's shooting ducks and barrels. It's so cool. Now, are they better than Surf? It's safe to Surf. Now, remember, they sell the rifles. So they're still good. The range. They try to get closer to the one they can. That being said, there's enough long range fire that they're going to lose. And this is the part where they all get in the vehicle? Please tell me that. Uh, not the vehicle, the, the demo house. charges. Oh, wow. God dang it, tank killer. He gets rid of that mine because he doesn't want them to see it. Oh, please. <laughs> this is basically like, when will it happen? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of demo charges. Artillery, try to push them back. We do have a Katusha by Saint. Um, in the meantime, if you're wondering what I'm doing, so you see this OKW, this is one of the worst spots I've ever seen one of these things because you're like, oh, it's guarding against infantry. Well, yeah, it's guarding against infantry, but see what I'm going to do? I am going to get SU-85, move it up and try to fire at that point, neutralize it. They also have this huge blob right here, which is, could be very bad for me. Basically, for the OKW, you have to balance being in the open and being aggressive with it. Because if you're too aggressive, then it's in the open. But if it's in cover, then you, it's not really effective with that gun. So you have to balance for how you want to use it. And way to ruin the thing with your wow. phone. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> there. Uh, so it's, I think this is Soviet barbed wire. And then this is their steel barricade. <laughs> you can tell the difference because one is quality and one is not. <laughs> yeah. But they're moving up, trying to retake these points. Again, it's one guy versing it, all this, so he can't really do all that much. But, T but a T-34 versing a Puma, T-34 usually wins, unless a long range. Uh, but the, the only downside is it's a Puma, and yeah, that's not good. I'd retreat. And that's supportive, like a Jackson. We also have the Blob. I think he may have just blown up the building. I do apologize. Oh. Darn it, bro. So close. Oh wow, there's a lot of dead men. S85, kill the building, how about that? Okay, that, I'll take it, I'll take it, that's mild. That's pretty so good. So this guy will no longer have access. He's also heavily going Panzer Fuse Elite. Well, look at these blobs, by the way. Okay, Panzer Fuse Elite are basically weak. Look at this! Like, where's your kit? Where's that guy's kit, Yusha? Actually, where's, where's the killer demo? Oh my god. Please go, please go for the... Please go for the point. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So he's trying to get around my MG, at this point I see the MG, I'm like, oh shit, get out of the building, get out of the building, get out of the building. So it's not only the game from the building, but my guy will see the guy from this giant blob. Why? Oh, oh, yeah, there's the fire though. There's the Kaisha. I knew it was on its way. Oh, wow. He got in the building, knocked that out. So he killed two people. A little bit more damage. Ooh, all the dead men. And his giant blob infantry gets reduced. He had like four pants full of blue squad, so I'm glad. And then... I get my own and start firing up this mentor with you, which I know they're gonna go to. Yeah, it's kinda downside of OKW. It's like you have such great Ooh. Ooh, that that's gonna hurt. So you have such good reinforcements, but the downside is everybody knows where you're going. So Red just went from having some of the most units on the field to now barely hanging on. To be fair, he kinda now has the exact amount of pain boost views he's supposed to have. I mean, or like one. But I mean I really don't see he shouldn't have that. Like, it's really not something you can see that even that. It's good against long-range infantry, but you need Volks with it, which is something I guess. Exactly, exactly. 
Anyway, so uh, TK is also trying to push over here. That kind of is not going so well. Um, luckily, uh, Fried Chicken is trying to help, but he, has, he doesn't have that many forces, though. He's still um, trying to push up. He, as you can see, he did go to the industry, so that can change very quickly. But, like I said, he still is uh, being pushed back pretty hard. But we are beating Red Bull Pulp. That should be notified. But the other thing is, Red is building this out in the open, which, I mean, you should put that behind some cover. That way you can't long range, especially with the Cayushas. If you know the enemy has r r artillery and or range, you want to make sure you're more defensive with that kind of stuff. You want to make sure you're having a front line. You want to make sure that, you know, that's behind buildings for cover. Just some other things to keep in mind. Please go for the cover. Please go for the cover. Uh, Please go for the cover. So they, do, they don't fire their pan... Oh, I was going to say. They do. I like how it's a, again, a Kubo wagon from Tank Killer firing at it. It's yeah. like they're... Oh, Wait, they have three stars. What's the three stars for a Kubo wagon under the enemy? Wait, what? To the right. See? Only three stars. They just don't get fired. The other two. Ah. Oh. Artillery trying to neutralize the T forces. Oh my god. So what would side. happen to a Tiger Ace if they lost their dimension the side and they were able to get... That'd be like a five star? Oh my god. We should, we should try that and figure it out. I don't know if you... I don't know if you can get through a Tiger Ace. Well, I mean, if it gets, becomes a band. I have no idea. I've never tried it. That would be awesome. But in any case, Red has just lost both of his fortifications. He's lost all of his men. While he is basically a function of the opposite side. The, the OKW are just crushing, and then you guys are crushing the other side. So it's yeah. kind of like yin and yang. Yeah, and, and again, this is why. They, they put too much 4 HQ, and then he, the he did retrieve his infantry. He left it there, and then with enough Katusha fire and long-range hits, we able to neutralize it. Now, with a lot of my forces here, I'm going to slowly move up and try to push them out. Because the big thing is right now is this guy. Because he still has all of his forces here. Um, XOP is still holding Tank Killer back. Tank Killer has a lot of demo charges, but, you know, that can only hold him. Very easy demo charges, by the way. I'm uh, moving up trying to kill those two players. Help out my ally. As you can see here, we have a lot of uh, a lot more tanks coming out. I think he might be trying to save the KP-12. Or two, sorry. But at least he has a flamethrower tank. Over here, as you can see, slowly still being pushed back by this guy. But they are pretty much being just holding this point. They're not necessarily helping the front line. And Red is just like, help. <laughs> Red is kind of dead. That's more like it. But yeah, the, the other teammate, Red is kind of like the anomaly. You guys are doing fantastic. And that one teammate over there is not doing so hot either. But, I mean, it's... I, you have an SU-76. An SU-76 isn't really that good. It's good artillery abilities. It's a good supportive unit. It's just not front line capability. He needs like a good, uh, well he doesn't have to So, an SU-76 is like the thing you would have to fight a Panzer IV, right? Like, that's kind of like the... Yeah, but, see, a flamethrower tank will easily destroy this Look at that flamethrower. Look at it destroy. Burn, baby, burn. Burn them to the ground. Burn all the way to Berlin. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, continue. He has a good infantry force right now. We can see what, oh, okay, so we can see what a lot of these guys are going for. Uh, 314, XOP. See, they have too much fuel to not be using it. So, at this point, if you don't see many tanks from these guys, you know. Alright, Panzer Bolsaliers, Yag Tiger. That's what they're going. Because this guy has 300 fuel, and while he could easily save up, that's most likely what he's trying to do. He's trying to get that, um, enough points to save up for a Yag Tiger. I only noticed he could probably get something small, and, and he could probably still use it. So, I, what, my recommendation for him is he get something small with your fuel, because by the time you get to 13 stars, you're going to have that fuel back. And he needs it now. Like, that Yag Tiger, you guys are tanks, but the main thing is the tanks. It's, well, okay, there's tiny tanks, but it's not all the tanks. We lost the KP-20 thrower. Yeah, the Panther's in the house, and that thing is pretty good. Three star conscripts, though. Can you complain about that? Uh, it's a 3476 with DK flanking. Um, he also has another SU-5 running in. Yeah, that Panther is just too... The Panther, no offense, against most tanks is just really, really good. I mean, there's... Huge block. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... That could, that could be... Oh, that, that could, oh, never mind. Medusa fire. Never mind, it's not a problem anymore. Oh, wow, double Medusa fire. Oh, my God. He's got to retreat. This is why you need to retreat fire. Well, we didn't 
if you get hit by one, three, one's run. If you get hit by three times, okay, it's your own fault. Yeah, I lost my S285, by the way. But in the meantime, I'm doing what any person would do and place mines throughout the local area. And as you can see, he's staying demo charges. Oh my god. Is that you or is that Tank Killer? Uh, I, no, this is S ST that put that one. What is with the surge with demolition charges as of late? It's like the new freaking hot potato. I think people realized how good they were. Yeah. Honestly. For 90 munitions, like three mines? Yeah, that's not even worth it. Because they don't do too much to tanks. That's the only downside. Well, oh. Then you need line of sight. But in the back, what do we have? Uh, more Panzer Fusilli. Oh my god. He, I mean, he has a ton of manpower. And, and I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, not manpower, munitions, so he's just trying to... The reason it. why I thought I this kind of makes me up is because I did the exact same thing when I was a new player. I was like, oh my god, Panzer Fusiliers, these must be super cool units. I'm going to make a whole bunch of them with bulk skin gears. I'm going to be unstoppable. Oh, so, today, ladies and gentlemen, we find out what the idiot... Or, maybe not the idiot, but the, the blob killer. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, there goes the body parts. Look at all the legs and arms. Like, look at that. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. It, that's just... How do you explain that to your... Uh, how do you explain that to, like, the wife and child back home? Yeah, sorry, honey. Uh, your German... O or the German officer was killed because the... Russian One grenade. Ooh. Because the Soviets put a mine down and we're, we're doing it for giggles. Like... He couldn't pick it up, by the way, because he had two anti tanks. Let me see. Oh my god. So we're saying is the left side is definitely the more engaging of the two. Oh, and we got ourselves an SU, or not SU, a T-34-85. Oop. 35 puncture and armor. We also have a IS-2. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, And there goes one of their folks. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good shot, and that was pretty smart, disabling the engine, that way they can fall. have the 18 They do, they do. That's the one, that is a good upside to them. But the downside, is, oh wow, that's a lot of fun. But in any case, the, down, the upside is now they can't chase you, because you can't, you don't reverse that ISU, you know, or the IS2. I was thinking there was more to the name. <laughs> They're falling back, they took heavy casualties. Did they find another demolition charge? <laughs> Probably not, but, you know, Katusha Fire would do that, because this guy's two. Wow, one and two stars. Oh, nice. three, I mean, I do apologize. Wow, okay, that's a little much. Uh, that's all you need. <laughs> all you need is Katusha. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, so we get, uh, tank killer has, uh, let's see, 85 and 76. The difference between the two, as you can see, 76 has a 76 millimeter gun, while an 85 has an 85 millimeter gun. Doesn't it also have better armor? Yeah, it, I believe it also does. Because you can see the tank, it has a little bit better all around. And then compared to the T-34-76, uh, T you can tell it's slightly when, smaller. Okay, so basically if you want to tell the difference, if you suddenly like the, the look of the T-34, then it's the 85 model. If it looks kind of bad and eh, then you're looking at the 76 model. Is that really? Is that, that, it's the, or 74 millimeter, whatever, whatever the 74 millimeter is. I don't know, it's just a lot In any case, we have the guy charging in the center from the music game, crushed by Kate Lucian Fire. These gentlemen really need some armor. Like, Panther was a very good move. They need to use that armor. They can't wait for the yeah, I mean, well, they have access to it now. But they need to get that Yag yeah, Panther up now to kill your tanks. So, like I said, still here, still defending, pushing up, retaking the points. Maybe a demo. Maybe a demo here, a demo there, a demo everywhere. <laughs> Red still has a good chunk of forces. Saving up now for the Yag Tiger, if I have to guess, along with this gentleman. Please let him bring it out and just die by a plane crash. That would be... That's like equivalent to that one game where you played Spearhead against you, and you brought the IS-2 out, and you were like... And you were telling Red Man about, watch how... Or Red Man was like, look how good it takes the AA out, and it just crashes right into your tank. It's like, god dang it, Red Man. Uh, yeah, look at that. That, that plane crash, I hate it. Planes in this game are the un... Like, they're guardians in Halo. Like, they are the undecided killers of all of Company of Heroes 2. Of just like, you know, you, you want to see, you, you want to lose everything? Just have a plane crash. <laughs> it's like, it's like, how do you do It's like, please do not have a plane crash on my units. But in any case, another Kayusha fire there. You guys are doing some heavy bombardments, and the upside to this is... Well, actually, no, the downside is they are building uh, a pretty good Pack 43. No, no, that's that's actually a terrible location. They should you put it behind the trees? Put it behind the trees, that way they can't see it, but it'll shoot through the brush. Ooh. People forget that. Again, 
A Pac-43 can shoot through most obstacles. Again, unless it's a pre-placed building. If it's a pre-placed obstacle, like a rock, it won't shoot through the rock. But if it's a pre-placed like forest, or if it's a pre-placed um, building that can be knocked over by King Tiger or you know hurt, it can shoot through it. So you hide it behind here. It can fire while the uh, these bunkers guard. So if it's destructible, it can because that can be burned. I yeah. know that. Yeah. Okay. So you shoot through, and they get close, boom, 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 and they have no idea what hit them. As you can see here, T-34s and 76s are, uh, T-34, 76s, and 85s are pushing up slowly, helping us out. DK is putting more of his famous demolition charges everywhere. I'm putting up some fuel caps in the meantime. Was that, so was that a conscript unit with one guy in it? Back, Go back to the munitions. Oh, I could have sworn there was only one guy there. No, but we are starting getting some ranked conscripts, which people are like, conscripts suck. If you get embedded, unfortunately mine are not, uh, they can become very, very effective. I still have an IS-2 guarding the point, so I'm wary, because they're still double teaming. I don't know about you, but if I had to choose one thing to vent, I would go with the IS-2. If you get a three-star IS-2, that thing is awesome. Yeah, I'll say Because it's pretty basically like your equivalent of a Tiger, well, IS-2 ace. <laughs> well, I feel bad, because as soon as we notice that this guy has another, um, has a quarter for the time. This guy's 400 fuel. Save up, like quit using infantry to save up for the Yag Tiger already. Like, that's all you need. All yeah. you need is the Yag. Yeah. This guy's a five star bulk, I'll give him that. Yeah, that's, oh, I mean, no, they went wrong. Yeah, your, the teammates are doing fantastic on his enemy team. I mean, yeah, they're not killing your tank, but they are holding out. They're holding their ground, they're pushing up. Uh, you know what they, all they need to do is, honestly? Believe? No. Oh, well, yes. But they just need to steal T-34, come around here. T-34? Uh, Panther, sorry. And just flank these Katushas. There are four Katushas right here. Next well, to a demo charge. Also, here, oh my god. Uh, also, here's a note. Don't go. You, you should try to, try to pick different commanders. Because this situation, Bulgy Man would just destroy those uh, uh, Titan shows. That would have been the perfect counter to that. And if you ever play Sitar Summer, my biggest recommendation is at least have one person with Bulgy Makers to take out Titan shows and hurt the enemy in time. Uh, in this situation, it's just the same. I mean, you shouldn't have chosen the three of the same commanders. That's just overkill. Very true. Um, we can see here that they're placed, they're actually, four of these cubes are being placed now. It seems like the allies are pushing up, which, also, yeah, I'm up my also I will admit with you guys, you guys had a lot of armor, you should have been pushing up a long time ago. Like, oh. they have really nothing, and you guys have a lot of fire now. Even if, let's say, they had a King Tiger. If I had, if I, a King Tiger versus two IS-2, or I, if an IS-2 and two 3485s, I would pull back, because that's a lot of firepower. As you can see now, Orange is not like makes you realize that. Well, IS-2 is really good armor. Oh, okay. It has as much armor as King Tiger, so I mean, it's, it's definitely good defensive where King Tiger and Tiger are all the best. Oh, and the King Tiger, of course you have the King Tiger. At least four, maybe five. And then again, motion gators. These guys would have been done amazing. Like, I'm talking about like without. Oh wow! Well, I think it's not exactly what I'm talking about. But, I, yeah, I'm just saying. Like, oh, no, he's going in. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the beauty. Yep. There's the yag. Wow, that was a really good hit. Yep. Yeah, you're very good. Did it miss? Oh nope, it didn't. I'm surprised it's dead. Look at all this. All oh, what? Red has no infantry. <laughs> Purple has one unit. Wait, go back to red. Did he re- Oh, he fine. He's about to have no unit in this game And it will die. The Katushas are now moving back. He has artillery. Oh no, the smoke. I think he'll win for it. He's fine. Oh wow, your eye is too dumb. Get the dust. Okay, that's a pretty good counter. Oh wow, good bounce. Turn, turn the egg. Cover your guy. Cover your guy. Uh oh. Oh wow. He does not have priority vehicles. That oh look, another a one. second one. Now here's a good note. That's really good because now you guys have double firepower. The only downside is if you, they get overwhelmed, they're kinda of, they need some support they need some units. Here's the downside. Red has no units. <laughs> oh really? Wow. Okay, he's got a lot of Okay, he's got to say that. That is when, like, sending in things piecemeal is not the option. Maybe just hold back, reinforce. He did oh, that. Oh, please fire. Please fire and take out the SU-85 from behind. Why is he... 
Uh oh, he they're charging in. That is not a smart idea. Thing. Yeah, if you guys have Yag Panzers by or Yag Tigers by yourselves, don't charge them in. They are good supportive units, and I do say support because they're really, really support units. They can't go head to head against a tank. So they have this entire or area locked tanks. down pretty well. I would say so. They have a good AT forces, good overall, black emplacements. They have that area locked down. What they need to do is push from mid or push over here. So I'd Orange recommend is going from his side all the way over here, and uh. Unfortunately, I just have him to here. Okay, it's not meant to kill a panther. Uh, wait for the mine that I guess you play. I'm oh. nice too. Another one? Nice. Oh, and I should probably mention, uh, fried chicken, ton of tanks. Well, he gives himself the image. Wow, two star. Nice. He's ma he's making up for having just like very few actual infantry units by having a ton of tanks. And they're vetted, which is nice. Yeah, and he's also it looks like they're trying to block up this area even more. Smart. Yeah, I mean it is. I, it takes a while for put a lot of tank traps down. It does take a long time. And that's something you should maybe done at the beginning. But again, Fuck here's this. a very excellent flank on Orange. He probably should get out of there. Uh oh, that is that's death sentence. So conscripts were like, oh, uh, if you have a panther or something, no. I'm like the conscripts right now. If they keep running a tanker, they can kill the engine. They just fire with the AP rifle, and he's gonna kill the tanker. That's like that's like Night of the Living Dead territory. Like you know, car and just getting so far. Yeah, see. Wow, you were, yeah, you were kidding about that. He's, yeah, he's, I don't even have to move up with my S2. Again, people are underestimating. Oh, please let the demo charge kill it. Come on, TK, or er, whoever put that. Come on. Detonate, detonate, detonate. Oh. It's, oh, yes. Detonate. Congratulations. It's gonna go, and my S2 is like, hello. Boom. Ah, oh, crew shot. I, I think that bounced with a little shock to the crew. Anyway, they're gonna move up to their gag. That's really smart. Uh, they just have to make sure that there's. That can't be smart. Uh, see, the buildings will make sure that it makes it hard for vehicles to come around and hit it side. You know, the only downside is, though, I, that, that's what I said, smart. The only downside is if they lose that infantry, that's, that's basically the buffer, though. Like, they need that buffer. You can't use some private vehicles. That's the only thing. It's like, why not go private vehicles? That's what you need. Well, anyway, TK's on his. Oh my god. <laughs> Demo charge. I think he has the center, guys. He so. Tanko is gonna run uh, as a ton tank, he will probably try to flank. The problem is, remember, they have another gag. They really gotta pull that thing out, because if one's firing, the other's been firing. At least covering the other side's Red rear. Red has more infantry. Oh, yay. Whoa, that, at, least he, at least he got smart and put that in the base. Red I, did... I neutralized that headquarters. I'm trying to flank with my ass, too. Yeah, he, they should. Re that guy's not moving his yag. He's really gotta move his yag. Of course, where's your, where are your tanks? Oh, yeah. oh, well, actually, uh oh. It's not worth it. <laughs> As the KV2 pulls in. Uh oh. No, oh. It's not worth it. Oh, that is. I felt the pain there. I really did. Uh, moment of silence. So right now, I can see all this. So I, I said a moment of silence. Attack through the rear. It's like attack all the stuff. It's undefended. Look at that yag. You can see in the background that yag has not. That one guy's yag is not. It literally has not. Of course, you're gonna lose your thing in just a second. Wait for it. Oh. No. What? Thank killer for the flank. He's firing one way. On the other one's like, oh. God. I guarantee you, if you were to hit that screen, you just see a whole bunch of arrows and that guy's like freaking out. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, can you kill? Oh. Uh, 34 is that's the 85 and the 76. So you can definitely Ooh. do it. Kill the other one. 85 is the one. Oh, oh, did I hit the other one? Yep. It, it, it bounced too. Oh look! Conscript spam! Main gun destroyed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. That's for sure. Oh man, that there that's a heavy blow. Nice great run. Oh, they're coming in from the other behind. Yep, there's another one. 85. And another, another one. Eight. Did that be an engine upgrade? Yeah, okay, I wonder. I will fast. Get the back just, up. Oh, yeah, get that thing out of there. Don't even let them get behind you. Oh, this is why you need like other support for this. Fire. Uh, is that it's just sometimes a numbers game. It really is. Like, you can flank the enemy. Like this thing, that poor Yag, this thing died. Oh, fire. 
course, I honestly don't feel too bad because it also didn't help its teammate until like after. So, eh. But no, excellent pit maneuver by TK, uh, killing that Piag Panzer, and that pretty much seals the deal. I would say there's not much left in the enemy. I mean, is there any tanks or anything? I might miss. I we get hit one more time. But <laughs> it is barely alive. That is, that poor thing. It's, it looks like a sad. Like it just needs to put out its misery. At least until the engines. Oh. Oh, is that what I think it is? We have a King Tiger, everybody. That, see, that's what, that's what they needed defending the Yag Tigers. Yeah, the, the, pro the problem is they have this area so heavily defended, we're like, we're not we're not dealing with it. Remember that one game where it was the Siegfried line? Literally in the title, the Siegfried line. Yeah. They had all... I mean, this is pretty much what it, it equates to. It's like they can't hold the center, but they have the one star locked down unbelievably well. The problem is they can't grab this point, which is their ammunition. They can't push up anymore on this side because we keep battering them down. Like, they keep putting up their places. At this point, just stop. Just like, put, like, Red somewhat learned and started putting the stuff in his base. Yeah. But, yeah, there is like no point. It, it, it's not that, it, putting up there would be smart. The downside is because of the amount of the units you have, creating a foothold is bit like trying to grab sand. You're not gonna be able to hold on long. And also, if we look, Again, the reason why Red keeps losing forces is because he sends them these mass blobs. Blobbing is effective against hard targets, like a giant Yag Tiger. Take it out. Large blob, large force. Got it. Counter. Artillery, then um, multiple, like, indirect targets. I love that. I love those. Nice. Oh, God. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Did it kill Oh. There's the AT gun. Anyway, so as I was saying, oh my God, what was that? Those are AT strikes right I talked about earlier. That thing just did like a backflip and disappeared. I know it was awesome. Um, so they have a King Tiger still, which I'm surprised they don't move a little farther back for this. These units start healing. Right, I think they are. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Took a while. Um, they had to wait. Oh, Fritz! I think there's a tiger over there. Let's move. Oh, Ooh. yeah. So what happens when the guys die? Like those things get killed. <laughs> I'm kidding. They, it's just, they, just they, they just get re like killed. Oh, okay. I like it. Like, oh wow. I like, think. okay, men, hide on top of each other. They finally got some guys around. So would you be safe? Okay, so if you had three people on top of each other, where would you want to be if like artillery was coming down? Because three. Bottom. <laughs> Bottom. Because you guess what? The first guy gets hit by the heat, the second guy gets hit by shrapnel, third guy you maybe get killed by a shockwave other than that. The, is, the reason why we're being very effective at holding the spot is because every time they take it, they have nothing defending it because they use everything in the blob. So they leave, making us easily able to recapture it, set charges, and then when the blob comes back, we know we can do substantial damage because they're just moving all their forces. So double charges fine. Very effective. Yeah, people think blobs include like sending everything you have in one pile, which is a blob can also equate to the fact ooh, this is an excellent charge. A blob can equate to the fact that you are moving and retreating in unison with one as a uh, one form. Yeah. So it would if you retreat everything, it's not a smart move. So if you think just by, you know, Keeping your units apart, you're fine. No, it also equates to the fact that you not only get people apart, but you have to uh, you keep at least some units in the front line the whole time. But in any case, King Tiger is actually doing really good. This is a very smart ploy by him. Ooh, and they have folks. Oh, wow. Yep, those are dead. I put my money on the folks. There's enough AP. There's three AP. Yeah, Only downside is he should have started. Before. He should have started advancing. Uh oh. Those are two of your eyes. Twice. Okay, I put my money back on you guys. Nice. Bad day, bad day, bad day. It's down. It's a very bad day. King Tiger's not And you, you're really you smart. You should really move up the folks. Like he's not doing anything to folks. Where are all the folks? You need to move up the folks.
Was the trees? Yeah. God, I always find enjoyment because it's like a lottery. What is it gonna kill, or if anything, for those planes? But yellow, I'd, I'd have to say, who's yellow? Saint. Saint, I would say, is re. I, yeah, he's blobbing, which is not a yeah. good thing. But he's the fact that he gave ever all of them anti tank rifles means they're good against infantry and the tanks. Again, there's an easy way to counter Stuka. That. Stuka, um, especially for oh. oh, there's the Stuka. Uh, it's as if I saw that from, you know. Ooh. Why did Why you know? Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, I had that was actually not half bad. Remember, T-34s, uh, not the greatest armor at all. Yeah, even the 85 versions. I think, I mean, even if they're slightly better armor, it's still like... It's, it's like, again, it's like tinfoil and really high-quality tinfoil. It's still tinfoil. Uh-oh. Wow. You said that does nothing to the I told you yes. <laughs> Uh, he sure. Wow. That's a that's a pretty decent. They're tactical. moving over additional armor, but they essentially have nothing left. And I, I'm not sure about you. They're but using all their forces just to survive in their face. Yeah. I'll give them this. They held the other side very well. It's just I think the major plot was red. There, there are a few key points. Red didn't really do that thing. But the other note is the other guy on the left isn't pushing. He's got a lot of look at that. Kyushas. S85s, KV2s, he could be pushing right now and really, cr you know, putting it to that guy on the left, but he's not. So I think it's really, who's that guy? Captain Chicken? Yep. I think oh, chicken, chicken, I think Fried Chicken is being literal when he's being chicken. He's not pushing, he could easily take the star and the game even faster, but he's not. He's being very cautious, very He's stolen. supporting mid and he, they're helping us push the, into this area. Now, once again, I'll state this. The key to a game is not holding all the points. It's holding a majority. People will always try to go for three, and like this is similar to like Conquest at uh, Battlefield series or anything, where they try to go for all the points. That is false. Ne you don't need to do that, and they quit because they realized we can't win. Um, because all we had to do was control the one and the two points. We hold those, and we keep smashing the enemy. We win. This guy tried to push into the enemy base and kept failing, and now there's no way he possibly could. We kept focusing and putting pressure on their weak points. We realized, okay, so purple and orange, these two guys, uh, Cheat, Rusty Blade, and Tarkin, we can't physically beat them. I remember calling in airstrikes in this sector and doing a lot of damage and killing all their stuff. We can't push them back from that sector. But... We're beating Red back, and we're beating the other guy back. Uh, sorry, we're beating, let's see, who is this? Uh, XOP and 314. We're destroying their weaknesses. We're hitting their key strategic points and pushing them back. And to a point where they lost pretty much everything. We keep putting pressure on that one point. We pull away the strength of the guy we can't beat and bring him into this, the zone. For example, they can keep hiding over here and holding. But if we control the two points, we force them into confrontation. We force them into fighting us on our own front. Uh, can we see the stats? Because no offense, I, I've waited a good many. I waited 40 minutes. I want to see the stats. I got a lot of kills. Random YouTube commenter, number five. But like I said, it's <laughs> keep hitting the enemy where they're weak, not where they're strong to win a game. Um, I got the most kills. We can see here, ST, I, of course, got the most damage. I, I'd like to note that... It was still pretty close. I, I'd like to note three. Congratulations, you are officially a Russian. Because you sacrificed for every one man you killed, you've lost multiple, which is pretty impressive. But look, you did pretty well, I will admit. Look at all the Soviet players, though. Look at all the Soviet. It's pretty down... Yeah, it's pretty bad when the Soviet players do better than... The, you know, have a positive KD. If you have a positive KD as the Soviets, you're doing really good. Well, when we say positive, we mean more than one. Like, that's not... They did pretty well. Not... Let's be honest now. They were pretty close. Like, they... Vermont had a negative. Uh, OKW. OKW, sorry. They that... had a lot of damage. They could really hit you guys, but they couldn't hold the ground. They couldn't keep their units up, which is the problem. 314. 231 losses. So... 
basically that was game. That's game. And so uh, uh, just looking real quick at uh, uh, best units. Uh, hold on. Uh, what do we got? Conscript Ice Two, law damage. Very nice, very nice. And tank killer, uh, T3045. Yep. Makes sense. And uh, the conscripts help. Anyway, that's game. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys submit your own commentaries. You can do so via my uh, email on the YouTube chat site or just go to uh, like our Facebook page and send in a nice little replay. Remember, it's in the document se section under My Games for Company of Heroes 2 under the replay section. And also remember that if you want me to be here more often, all that you have to do is leave a comment and say how bad my brother is and how awesome Grayshaw 151 is. If you just do that, you guys will be my new favorite people. Yeah, and then pay for gas in the three-hour trip to come see me. Actually, never mind about that. You know, I'm perfectly fine. My brother can keep the COH2 series going. It's, you know, I, I don't want... You're doing such a good job, I'd rather not interfere anymore. I'll see you guys next time. And I probably won't. See you guys later. Or, I mean, I won't. Bye.